Hey guys, your boy Fitch for the win here. Give me another Call of Duty video. Probably should ask you, do you want any more Call of Duty videos? Do you want Black Ops 2, say, or Modern Warfare 3, Advanced Warfare's older versions, the Elites, the survival thing, any Elite Gun gameplays? Anything you guys want that I can provide, I will try. And yeah, here's the main reason I got into this. Today, I started playing a game and I found out that I'd lost my touch. I'd gone into my casual game of Team Deathmatch, where I used to get regular 2 to 3 KDs, fairly good, enjoyable. I wouldn't mess up too bad. But recently, basically around today, I've been joining into games, and all that's been happening is I've either been spawn killed, or my reactions have just shot down. I don't get it. Yesterday I was playing Search and Destroy. I played a bit of it for, well, I played it for net. 12 hours, 8 hours, something like that. And it didn't mess up anything. In fact, my reactions actually increased. And I did a quick test before I went on to my first game on this. My accuracy was improved as well. But somehow, my accuracy has gone down. Because my kills have literally dropped from, say, 2 KDs to 1.5s. I'm not going to do one on this one either. But I'm going to have to try hard right now because otherwise I doubt this is going to work. It may have been that I've just, because of how many times I played well, how many times I won games on Search yesterday, it may be it's upgraded me in skill based matchmaking or something, but if it is doing that, I'm not happy. Ah, see? My shot's off. Shot's completely off. I should have gone and at least uh, adjusted it. No. For some reason I just forced it to be there. Oh, wait. Even get onto a kill streak. Come on, go, go, go. thing ever that happens to me these days well is when I lose my touch in Call of Duty because Call of Duty is almost basically my life I do nothing but Call of Duty when I'm at home maybe a bit of YouTube but that's for you guys so I can find what you like and what you don't <laughs> this is all I do for most of my life and I'm not getting anything working well in it so if I don't do well, I'm not going to produce good content for you guys, and I'm not going to enjoy myself. Meaning my entire life is basically going to be a waste. So I don't know what the hell's happening, but I'm going to have to keep trying harder and harder and harder. If I'm to actually enjoy my free time. And this is not good. You'd expect these kind of things to be second nature to someone who's been playing Call of Duty for years and has on fairly well in the last two. Black Ops 2, I had 4 KDs. In Ghosts, 3 KDs. In this, it dropped down to 1.5. And it's just depressing to find that you can't play after a, a day off non-TDM. And I find it taking so long to adapt to it resetting to that game mode again. I used to always jump game modes. I used to play the objective ones almost all the time. Now I can't play the objective ones because if I play the objective ones I'm going to mess up my team death matches and my other objective modes that aren't that one mode. It's just upsetting to have to constantly stay on one mode with good guns to keep my kill death up. You should honestly have some kind of thing you can say some points have a trial period for the gun that you're using or something like that just so you can be certain that you're prepared so you could say pay pay for it with an elite gun or something and you get 20 minutes where deaths don't count towards your kill death or 20 minutes where you go into a slightly lower quality lobby so that you can get better games 
this. Actually, I should. I think I just saw something I shouldn't see. My kill death may have just been fluking, but yeah, I may have. I may readapt. I may be readapting right now. Oh my god, this is just... Have you guys ever tried doing the double tap thing with grenades whilst you're chucking that and you've got low ammo in your bloody gun? <laughs> it is one of the worst things in the world. I'm trying to set up a bloody stun grenade and it just won't let you. It just turns the thing off the stun it says it's going to. It the speed reloads you. And then you die. Dumb. Thing called that you should pay for. Luckily, though, they did patch the ping and they haven't done anything to mess it up anymore. So that's one thing they fixed. The kind of thing happens. It's not even my fault in those cases. It's just either timing or that someone's right next to me. So yeah, a little tip for people. For some reason, you're almost certain to die if you're near two more or players. So yeah, play a little bit of lone wolf mode-ish. Apparently it works a lot better. I wish I could give you more things, but I'm afraid my skill level is going to slip. And if that happens, you guys aren't going to enjoy it. Usually, with this kind of thing, I'd just be pointed on. I'd, I'd kill him. It, it's all that happens in my usual games. But this time, it's not working like it should. Uh, I need to give you guys better quality. Anyways, guys. This has been your boy, Fidget for the win. Trying to get better for you guys. Make you happier. In the comments section, go ahead and tell me exactly what kind of games you'd want. If it's free or if I have it, I will try and play it and upload it for you guys. But that's only if possible. Right. Goodbye.